next one's gonna be S mount back stretches, right? So the S mount is when I'm mounting on somebody like this, right? So if I go from, let's say I'm like mounted on somebody, I can actually kick my leg over and S mount. All my weight is sitting on the, on my kind of my butt cheek, my pelvis there on the, on the chest. And then their arm is like right here for you to take, right? So S mount is great for your hips opening up, but also has value in the, uh, in, in grappling and submission positions. And then we're gonna use this one to also stretch our back, all right? So if you, if I start from this position, I'm gonna put this leg at 90 degrees. I'm gonna put this leg at 90 degrees so it forms an S, all right? My goal is to keep this back heel and this back knee where it's at, all right? So some, you might have to create a little tension in the ground. I'm gonna reach across and twist and then pull myself out of there. As I go, I'm going to switch my hips over to this side. My lower back popped in both positions was felt great. So let me show you from this perspective. So I roll onto a hip and I S the legs, all right? Now I'm gonna reach across. And I'm using my hands here to like pull myself into deeper rotation. Then I wanna try to make this switch clean. So I'm here. You should feel stretching here. That would be the goal. And you're kind of just sliding on your hip like that. Questions with that one? Could you explain one more time the F mount? Um, that pose looks to be a different pose from yoga. <laughs> Okay, let me grab this, this grappling dummy and I'll show you so you can kind of see it. <laughs> it's like me dragging a dead body across the screen. All right, you guys can see this, right? So I'm in mount and I have these hands up. That's why you said they say never to push your hands up. It's very easy to arm bar. So what I'm gonna do is look, I'm gonna put pressure on them. I'm gonna slide this one knee up by their head and S this other one over like this, okay? Now, this is super easy for me to slide over and to break the arm, all right? Let me see if I can get it from a straighter perspective here. So I'll push down to keep them down. I'll slide this knee over. I gotta extend this leg straight and sweep it around. Now that's that S mount that we just had on the ground. Their arm is here. I'm just hugging this thing, stepping over, and then let me move this arm out of the way. This is me breaking the arm right here, okay? So the S mount is kind of this position with, with the legs, all right? So if I do it on this other side, I'm basically kicking the leg out, switching over. All my weight, notice when I do have the S mount that I'm heavy. I don't go like this because I'm gonna start falling backwards, right? So I'm heavy. That was the stretch. We're doing this type of stretch right here. Heavy on this, uh, you can't see it, but on this, this glute, this arm is typically gonna be right here. I have both arms, and then now if I want to finish this, I just hook over like this, slide over, and I can finish right from mount right there. If you wanted to finish backwards on the traditional arm bar, you would go here, and then now you're in on that arm, just like that. So that's what the S mount is for. Now let me drag this body away. Get rid of the evidence. So if I'm here, Put your weight on, put your weight on this butt cheek. Take that one back, okay? And then there's an S form with your legs. All right, and if you think about it too, this one's kind of at a right angle, and this one is at a right angle. And then now the leg that's out in front of me, not behind me, I'm gonna reach over and past it. I feel a beautiful stretch kind of here along my lower back. Sometimes I also feel it here if I'm really reaching then over. Now when I switch over, um, you know, friction is our enemy on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hand to give me like a head start, and I'm gonna then just land in that next position. So now I got 90 degree bend. Let me turn this way. 90 degree bend, 90 degree bend. I'm gonna reach across my front leg. Feel great stretch across right here. Now, one cool thing you can do if you wanna make this like a long-term stretch, so let me grab this kettlebell. All right, if you want to get a stretch in the back, in the back hip part, 
right? What will happen is that as you start to really stretch over, your leg will start to come this way. If you want to have a stretch here, basically what you have to do is hook. This could be like uh, one of the legs on your, on your bed, like on the bed frame or something that would be static that you can go around. Now I can really pull away and start to turn my body. And kind of, I can move in this position, but this now anchors that leg from sliding up, which takes that uh, stretch away. So does that answer your question? Yes, so the body is underneath like, well, I guess like thigh. Or like your front butt. Yeah, so like, your front butt, yeah. yeah. Your front butt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if I go this way, all the weight is digging down into my front, on this front glute, this bone driving down, and my weight is heavy over it. As I start to do this, I feel stretch in this, in this hip anyways, right? So that's why I like that uh, stretch, and it also translates over into uh, fighting and self-defense as well. What else? <clears throat> These are good questions. 